I get to live for another year A lot of snakes, so I gotta grab my metal gear Never fear, when the slugs bust Pit fighter? More like shit diaper More like dick biter This game is the reason people form cults and commit mass suicide this game makes John Cena's matches look like five-star candidates. It's hard to imagine now that THQ was involved in this pile of crotch rot. Before hitting it big with AKI and the wrestling games during the late 90s, you know, THQ was just a little developer making games in a crowded field. And then later on they had some hits like Super Return of the Jedi for the SNES, but this fuck waste is nothing but a painful scab. What the fuck were they smoking? Now, if you can see the fucking date, this thing came out in 91 for the SNES, but it was actually originally put out in the arcades by a company called Tengen. T-E-N-G-E-N. -E -E and there's a reason why this fucking company is not around anymore. Matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the only game this piece of shit company ever fucking put out. And so it came out for the arcades and actually it could be somewhat of a, I guess, innovative game because it was the very first fighting game to use 3D digitized models, whatever you want to call it. This is the technology they later used in games like Mortal Kombat and NBA Jam. But honestly, even with this uh, quote-unquote innovative aspect, the game the rest of the game is absolutely fucking manure okay I mean look at this title screen it's fucking brilliant the early 80s font the four color paint job the careful precise spacing between the fuck nut companies just to make sure we know who's responsible for this rape victim so I press start and there ain't even any options on the goddamn screen you know, you can't toggle the difficulty or change the control layout. You're given three buzz fuck characters, and honestly, it doesn't even matter who the fuck you pick. They all have the same fucking moves, and there's not really any varieties in the motherfuckers. They all get destroyed by the fucking CPU. I mean, it's ridiculous how hard the computer is. Look at this shit. Your first enemy is a fat guy in a ski mask named Exec. E-X-E-C period. Now, I'm guessing it's short for executioner, but what the fuck do I know? I mean, it could be execrable, execrate, executive, executor, um, execution. I mean, any of them can actually fit. And look how fucking strong he is compared to you. Now, I'm trying to figure this shit out. Uh, do they even have a fucking energy bar? No! This shitty game doesn't even have energy bars. No health bars. He gets 220 and you only get 160. Yeah, they're in fucking numerical form. Uh, fuck. Now he's kicking my ass. Hey, fuck you. Get off of me. Ah, oh, you fat fuck. Stop it. Damn this shit. I'm trying to fight back, but the controls have ADD and it's not responding. The fuck is this shit? Oh, fuck. I mean, he doesn't even pause. He fucking wails on you like a drunken wife beater. And now I'm fucking dead. That's it. It's game over. Done. Oh, wait a minute. What the fuck is he doing now? Trying to give a dead guy a hand job? Jesus fucking Christ. What a fucking mess. Now, despite all this garbage, you know, all this bullshit, this horrible fucking graphics and this oh my god I mean this looks like a diarrhea fucking mess no there is one thing that I actually enjoyed in this game I'm not fucking joking you when you turn the game on uh, it might actually turn you on now what do I mean by that just listen with your fucking ears and observe oh god Oh yeah, fuck yeah, oh yeah, give it to me you filthy whore, 
Oh, I love the sound of this fucking shit. I mean, this fucking demo alone is almost worth checking out this otherwise pile of shit sticks. <sighs> what else can I say? The graphics? Putrid. Uh, the background is a repetitive, bland shit stain. I mean, I've seen better graphics and colors in an original Game Boy game. I've seen better visuals on a fucking watch. Yeah, on a wristwatch. It's got better fucking visuals and shit, man. I mean, I'd rather watch two girls and a cup while sniffing a used barf bag. I'd rather masturbate to a Faces of Death marathon. I'd rather sleep in a coffin filled with tunnel-digging earwigs. I'd rather consume shallow American propaganda that causes social inequality, clinical depression, spreads gentrification among the fabric structural design which continue to divide the have and have nots than continue playing this piece of shit fucking game. This game is pure fecal matter. This game would be game of the year on opposite day. This game is actual proof that shit can be packaged, wrapped up in a box, and widely distributed throughout the world. In other words, this game is fucking garbage.